Hi everybody, it's Annie B Girl Squirrel, and this is a look I've put together for Miss Darley 47. I'm challenging you. I know this is probably going to be trying to push you out of your box quite a bit. Uh, you had mentioned that you don't wear a lot of color and that you mostly wear browns, and so this is what I have spent probably the last 48 hours trying to come up with and, and put together for you. And it's funny because it's opened up a whole lot of emotion for me about my makeup and the way uh, I do I stuff. I will show you everything I've used here. And as you can look on my eyes, red. I want you to use a red. And I think you can do it and I think you can pull it off. Uh, there's no reason not to. And I think it'll really kind of break that boundary that we have all put up for ourselves at certain points because yeah for a long time I did just wear browns wanted it all to be natural looking and then I got married and then I, I didn't really wear any about makeup. this little part right now because otherwise I will go into this whole I'll go into the whole thing as to why I think we need to not be afraid of color so anyway Quick rundown real fast. Eyelid primer. This is the e.l.f. $1 eyelid primer and this is in the color Pearl. I used two different colors on my eyes. They are both from uh, Absolute palettes that I got from Nika K or Nika shop.com. This is their perfect 18 palette. The, the palette name is Paparazzi. The red I used is that red right there very shimmery red which I like uh, you can find a lot of reds uh, I think uh, most of the big elf palettes have a nice red in them but they're all matte so if you uh, where is it right there it's a matte red which the Would other work. color the gray that I used which is kind of a gunmetal gray came out of the perfect 12 colors in the palette name studio and that's the one right there that I used again the eyes, lips, face, they all have a very comparable, this is the spring palette, say like that one right there, or that one, you know, you want something that contrasts well with the color you're using, and since I chose red, I didn't want to use brown because I didn't want it to get all muddled on you. Okay, so those, so a red and a gray, then the eyeliner I've used is the e.l.f. eyeliner or waterproof pen mascara is my very dirty tube of the elf vol volumizing mascara brushes I used the elf blending eye brush the elf eyeshadow brush and then the blending brush the bedellum tools from sweet7beauty.com it's number 785 then the blush I used was my elf cream blush in vixen Pretty color and then the lip color I have on is NYX mega shine lip gloss in French kiss so those are the colors I've used to get this look going I'm gonna show you how to get the look going now and I hope you try okay so you're gonna want to start with the primer and the primer I am going to use is the elf eyelid primer this is their one dollar one but this is in the color pearl and the point of doing that is it's a little bit it'll brighten the area up and it'll make the colors pop a little bit because I'm challenging you to do this I want you to have it be you know I know it's gonna be breaking out of your comfort zone oops gotta grab my mirror I don't I'm not pretty <laughs> this this primer for some reason I don't know if it's just because of the color it's a little bit clumpier than the regular one but that's okay because you want the white and it's sparkly and put it clear up under your eyebrow over into the corner because then that takes care of your highlights so you're not having to worry about any of that and then let's make the magic happen go into the red and that's just gonna go on the bottom lid and focus it mainly over where the iris of your eye is but you are gonna go over pretty much the entire bottom lid
don't get too concerned about the inner corner or the outer corner too much. This is just a little pop of color to get you going and motivated into doing this. And you don't have to be as heavy handed. So now I'm going to go into the gunmetal gray. And we're just going to kind of map out where we want it to be. So it'll look harsh at first. It's not going to be as, you know, evidenced over here. Um, because we'll blend and blend and blend and blend until you're comfortable with it. And if the gray is quote unquote the safer color, you know, put it as much of it on as you want. But don't, you know, you don't want to cover up the red either. So here we go. Ooh. I've got it loaded up on here and I'm just going to stay on that very inner corner. I'm not, I'm going to go up a little bit, not real, real far, and I'm not going up towards my eyebrow either. Now this technique is not my own. I learned it watching Cora over on Vintage or Tacky. She did this shadow technique on her um, Disney Princess inspired ones. This is uh, the same technique she did on her Cinderella one. I'll link that into the bottom. And then over on the outer corner, like you're gonna do a cat eye that's kind of the same idea you want to follow. So going with the angle of the bottom lid, just kind of press there so you're heading out. And then follow where your brow bone is over into there and then bring it up and kind of fill in that little wedge. Okay, so I know it doesn't look super fantastic right here, but this is where we get our little blendy guy and start blending it. And then kind of blend them in together over the red. So you kind of have this arch. And put on a little more gray if you need to. And then just keep on blending. You don't want a harsh line anywhere. You just want it to look smooth. And the fun part with this is that once you get the liner on, if your eyelids are like mine. If you have your eyes open and you're talking to somebody, you can't necessarily see that there's color going on. It's when you blink that it's there. And I think that's kind of the fun and excitement about using a color, especially if you're not used I'm to it. The e.l.f. Uh, waterproof eyeliner pen. And this guy's kind of drying out on me. line as close to your lashes as possible and make a little bit of a thicker line. And then I did do a cat eye over here, so I'm going to do that over here. I'm not going to go past the crease of my eye, though. So the crease is right about there. It's it will turn into more of a wedge than a tail. But again, following that bottom. And when you have a marker like that, you're less likely to have to go and fix it. And so then from the tip of your tail, drag it over.
So there you go. When you look at somebody, it's not really there. Then curl your lashes and get mascara on you. And that's your eyes finished and then from there get some blush on you nothing real nuts this is um elf's cream blush in vixen And if a colorful, dramatic eye is something you're not used to, I would go with more of a nude lip color, mostly because you don't want stuff competing. If you're feeling brave, you could go with a nice red. I think that would look pretty cute. So if this is a look you wouldn't normally do, let your eyes be the focus. So go with a more neutral lip color, which for me is a challenge. <laughs> probably could use being blotted all right a bit, so but there you go ladies of a certain age don't be afraid of color please don't be afraid of color um i will put up a little clip to i this is the second try on this video so um i'll put up a, a different couple different schemes too that i had put together and just let it happen don't feel like you can't pull it off because I, I think don't think can. it's trying to look young. I don't think it's trying to do anything. It's being confident in yourself and knowing that I think you can pull it off. I think a lot of people look at color and think, oh, I could, I wish I could wear those colors. I wish I could do that. I wish I had the nerve. Well, give yourself the nerve and don't pigeonhole yourself in and thinking that I only can wear safe colors. Uh, there's there's just too much fun to be had in using colors and just have it be one shocking color and go for the most shocking color you think you can do. So anyway, I hope this tutorial helps. I hope it doesn't scare you and I will post, a, I'll put up a little bit, a little clip of me from last night where I have a different color scheme on each eye. So anyway, have a good day and I will talk to you soon. And bye. Just for the sake of doing this, <laughs> I know this looks goofy. I've got two different eye makeups on, but I want to show you that you can do this with brown too. Um, I've got, and, and this is put on in exactly the same technique as I just showed you. This one, I've got a purple one on with a lighter brown in the corners and then meeting in the middle. Same cat eye going on there and Again, it's not so much in your face that you can't handle it, but that might be a good way to start too. Or you could do, say, like a blue with a darker brown. And I admit that one's a little, might be a little scarier, but if you wear a darker brown, that might be something that would work for, ooh, <laughs> that might be something that would work and for so, you too. So, but I think it works well because if you have a pop of color right in the middle, right over the iris of your eye, and then 
you know, fade it out into the more acceptable colors, I think that would be something that a lot of people could get away with in a way that they don't think they could. So there's just a couple more ideas for you and I hope you challenge yourself and knock yourself out of that corner and don't be afraid of color because I think you can do it. I'm positive you can do it and I hope you do it and I'll see you guys later. Bye.